take a look. Take a good look. Look at my cluttered background. Look at my crazy background that includes African-American artwork by African-American artists that are actually, these, these those works are actually worth money. My plants, my Grogu's, a little tug something right there. But look at it. So, oh my God, it's so distracting. It's so cluttered. Oh my goodness. Like nothing on the floor and stuff. But anyway, there's, and there's a picture of me back there and my plants. Um, take a look at it. Take a look at it. I'm going to take a look at it. So the reason why I'm saying take a look at it, let me drink a little sip of my coffee before I start my rant this morning. I had an individual who I was never sure if they were a fan. I know I titled this when fans turned on you. I had some fans around me. But I'm not sure this person was a fan ever. Um, but I know this person's handle. And they just went off on me this morning. Oh, my goodness. They, they, they told me about myself, apparently. Okay. Um, and they criticize, and some people criticize your cluttered background, your cluttered background. What is my background, bitches? I'm not changing it, so fuck you. That's number one. Yeah, we're starting out, we're starting out hard this morning, because I don't give a shit. But it's funny that it went into my posting, I guess, or whatever. And luckily the receipts are out there. And that um when people accuse me of stuff, it's not I know it's not true because the receipts are out there, so it's not less true. And I'm well liked in the in the industry, so I know that's you know, so I don't worry about that. But it's funny when they turn on you. And it's always funny at the vitriol they throw at you when you're thinking, well, well, why are you so upset? Now you did watch my video, so you did watch it. Hi, it's daytime today when fans turn on you. Soap podcasters, we all know this is all for all of us. I did a video last week about us, you know, you know, we kind of collectively were important to the industry. Um, and we help the industry keep moving along and we do system checks, we speak out. And I still, and most of most of the comments are positive. Most of you know, most of them are. Most of them are like, yeah, we agree with you, yeah, we do this all stuff. I still got haters that still said they like, well, anybody with a microphone, and I think I mean, so it's like, okay, yes, that is true. Anybody with a microphone can start a podcast. <laughs> That's very true. You're right. Anybody with a microphone and a mouse can start by you, you're absolutely right. But I was still like, but but the whole point of my video is there are a lot of us, you can weed through the ones who are that you feel are not the greatest. There's some good podcasts out there that really do serve the soap community. Like there really are some really good, we put a lot of thought into them. They have co-hosts. There's some good things, there's some good stuff out there. Like I named some, like the chat, um, uh Sundays, uh GA Sunday Shift, uh Pier 54, Edition Days. Like I mean, there are people that put together some really they, they, they really work on their shows, put together shows. Um, and so I'm like, that's yes, you are correct. You are if you are right, we can do that. So I still got it. So I I just sometimes I think I go, well, people who decide to share hateful comments, I guess they just have to. I I would never do it. I just don't go on people's pages and share. I mean, I don't don't do it. And like this morning, I got, you know, we did our soap show, our Emmy, sorry, Emmy show on Friday. Now we've gotten you know, mixed reviews because we tell the truth, chain the devil, we say it, we share all kind of stuff. And we did two and a half hours of a video about the, about the Emmys. Two and a half hours. And this person decides to go in on me personally, not the rest of my, I mean, I'm thinking they'll comment on other stuff that we said. No, they commented on me and the two or three minutes in the beginning that I updated you guys on the Emmy situation. That was it. I just did, I said, I'm going to do this a couple of minutes. I want to put a button on it. I'm done. I did that. And that's what this person decided to do, to go in on me. I was self-indulgent and I'm this and I'm horrible and all this. He just, he just went in on me, just went on me. I did clap back to that person online, so they'll see it. If they watch this video, because they may claim they're, about, they're, they're done with me. And I'm like, please be done with me. I said this to the, to the, to the people who are ex-hardies. I'm like, if you hate my content, then go away. Like, please, please go away. I mean, that's fine. I don't need you. So please go away. That's fine. You hate me. But they got to put those, they, we know it's all for attention when people do something like this. So like I'm talking about right now. So it is. But my point is kind of like all of us so podcasters, we know this and we still should stay vigilant on what our, each of our missions are. Everybody's mission is different and everybody's show's mission is different, whatever it is. And for those of us who call out bullshit, like I do and call out things that are just not, they're not good uh, in the industry. And, just, and we share it with you because many of you guys, don't work in the industry. Many of you guys don't live in Los Angeles. Many of you guys don't know what goes on here. 
I'm we're sharing with you stuff that goes so you get a more well-rounded picture. So when your favorite artist is gone or when somebody leaves, this person's upset, we kind of tell you what's going on. Um, and that's kind of what we, that's what, not just me, but other people do that in this business. We do that. Um, uh, we should continue. I'm not going to stop talking. Uh, you, you can call me all kinds of names. You can accuse me of all kinds of stuff. I know it's not true because I know, I mean, like I said, again, I'll, I'm a very factual person. I don't, I mean, you know, some people, I, I don't bash the soap operas. You may think I do, I guess. If you look at my videos, you think I do. I talk about all aspects of everything. I talk about the goods and the bad sides and everything. And I'm not the only person who does that. A lot of us do that. We all do that. I'm not doing anything different than anybody else. Um, and they probably call me old school and tired. And I'm just, I just, I start, I started laughing, but I'm like, but you watched the video, didn't you? Because they can't help themselves. But the fact that this person, or some people take the time to come at me, you got your wish. I'm giving you attention. If you're watching this video, you know who you know who you are. You're getting attention. But my whole thing is, I'm going to continue doing me the way I'm going to do it. And like I said, like I said before, I'm not going to chase after people or situations that don't want me. And I know that when you speak out about situations, people either are, I call it faux outrage that they don't really care. They just they just, they just want to go off on you for some reason because they just want attention. They don't really. I mean. What if I go to the Emmys or not? What if I do this? Like, they don't, they don't I mean, it doesn't change, doesn't change their lives any. But there also are those who do get upset. You have a right to get upset. You have a right to not like my style. You have a right to not like how I do things. You have a right to not like how I look. You know, I mean, all that kind of stuff. You have a right to do all that. You have a right to say all, you know, all that stuff. So I'm just inviting you to stop watching me. If you don't, if you don't like me, or don't like certain podcasts, or don't listen to them. Don't follow them. And I see there's, and this extends into. I'm I'm glad I'm seeing this on on Twitter. Um, well, there's all these racists on there, of course. The people who just and some people are just crazy. There's crazy fog. And at some point, we have to start ignoring them. You can't reason with a crazy person. That's just and that's just that's that's crazy one on one. You just can't. They want the attention. And I always said, I'm glad people are saying not me saying. I'm glad other people are saying this online. They're like, if we just leave this these racist trolls alone, like me, like many of them. Can't see their faces, don't know who they are. They're behind a keyboard. So they can say all this stuff to me and say all this stuff to you and do what they want, but we don't know who they are. My face is out there. I'm showing, presenting my stuff. Uh, we should start ignoring them because it's it's almost like we're falling into the, I know it's hard. I know it's hard. You want to, you know, our first our first one is to attack and like and you know and almost eradicate, right? Because we're like. Because it's horrible when they say things to our favorite actors or say things to you. They call you certain names. We all know the names. I don't need to repeat them. It's hard to not want to respond. And so I'm like, you have to figure out a way not to sometimes. Um, that's why I don't a lot of stuff. I don't respond. There's a lot of things I do get I don't respond to at all. I pick and choose what I respond to. Uh, if I use it as a teachable moment or something that's bigger than that. But I'm I'm liking this whole thing. It's like, just leave them alone. If we silence, if we don't say anything, and they just they just talk in a vacuum, so then nobody, then nobody pays attention to them, then nobody cares. Then maybe maybe they'll go away, maybe they'll lose interest. I don't know. I mean, I don't know because because no, since nobody ever does it, we don't know what the result is. It's like we all collectively have said. Like I said before, even when I said it's about you don't like a certain show, I say take a break. If you're tired of general hospital and way you're treating things, it's okay to take a break. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Don't let anybody yell at you or scream at you and tell you, well, what's wrong with you? So take a break. Take a break like, as, long, as long as you want to. Many of you will watch our recap, all the recap shows or read the recaps, just kind of get an idea of what's going on, but you're like, I'm tired of watching. And so that's fine. So stop watching. And move on about your business. And then when you're ready and you feel like it's something you want to watch, you watch it again. You have, and that's again, we have, as fans, we have the power. I'm a fan. I mean, I'm in the business, but also a fan. We have the power. And I think we forget that sometimes. And that's my whole thing about that. I'm, like, I'm going to end this video shortly. It's my, my whole thing about this video is you have many, many choices in programming. You have many choices. And you can not like certain people or how they say things. You can like certain people. That, that's, your, that's your prerogative. That's, that's, that goes without saying, right? But when you attack said people, I hope that if that makes you feel better, then good. I guess it makes you feel better. But we are humans. And we are people who aren't trying to do bad in the world for most of us who are on here and do these things. Uh, I just know that for us, it's just, it's, it's, it, it, it's like, 
again, somebody's writing this thing or somebody's doing this. It doesn't it doesn't help the world at all. You're just putting more negativity into the world, but you're not going to shut any of us up. Us, uh, all of us on our soap podcast who 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 do these things, we're going to continue doing what we do, however we do it. So go ahead and attack us and do all the things you want to do. But and for me, I'm not going to stop. And if you think I'm old and tired and all that stuff, that's fine. And then stop watching me. Then like go somewhere else. I'm I'm completely okay with that. I in, I invite you to go somewhere else. It's gonna be okay. For all of us, it'll be okay. See you next time.